Hello everyone and welcome to this little informative video about the workshops that I teach in France. Now these workshops are located at Frasenay, France, which is about five or six hours south of Paris um, in the Toulouse area. So this is, uh, it's placed in a 17th century convent and you can see it there in the background. And all over the grounds are these beautiful gardens with tucked away hiding spots and little picnic tables. And there's two swimming pools. And um, it's just absolutely beautiful on site. And we do spend some, t some days painting on the grounds. Down in this little cove down in here is a medieval um, section of this area too. And so you are able to walk around this entire property and just find a special little nook and it is just a wonderful, um, peaceful, very, very quiet uh, place to relax. So this is um, the on-site location. We spend some days here and then we spend some days out and about. It is a 10-day workshop. And uh, my next one coming up is in 2024, uh, June 3rd to the 13th. And so we are going back. I have about seven spots left to fill. Uh, to make the workshop full. So if you are interested, and these look really interesting to you, uh, just send me an email and I'll put all of that information below. Um, so I'm just going to show you a little bit more of the grounds here as I was walking around. Frasenay is a tiny little village. There are no stores or anything. It's just a little village where people live. <laughs> This is the studio and it's air conditioned, well lit, it's beautiful. This is the workbook that I make for the students that take my workshops. It has some essentials that they'll need for the week and um, just bits of information, usually having to do with some of the places that we go or basics of plein air. I do demonstrations every day. This was one that we did. And this is another demo. These are students working around the property. Gorgeous flowers, always something blooming. And there are a few friendly cats who live outdoors. And when the weather's bad or uncooperative, I do a still life demo or portrait, whatever their interest is. Oh, the places you'll go. <laughs> now, this is a sampling of some of the places that we go to. And we went to this place not to paint, but just to enjoy the outdoor market. And uh, it's wonderful musicians, just the overall life, vitality, energy of this place. And shopping, the finest wines in the world are in this region in Southern France and they were selling for five uh, euros and 90 cents, about $6 <laughs> for a bottle of wine. And you can check them in your suitcase to bring them back home. And I got myself some cheese, it was absolutely beautiful. We went to Beaumont, uh, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce some of these, uh, but medieval villages. And um, we did set up here to paint, I did a demo. And then in the afternoon, everyone sort of dispersed and painted scenes from around the area that they liked. And it's really, I mean, just a few minutes walking in between everybody. It wasn't a very big area. With charming shops, this I thought was the most beautiful little shop. And medieval looking walls, and gorgeous landscape. And these three were painting a clock tower area. And that's the demo from that day. Then we went to Sarlat, 
And some of these pictures that I have on here are from last year and the year we just went. So there's lots of shopping in Sarlat. It's a medieval village. They've filmed lots of movies in this little town. I did paint a demo, but it was pouring rain the entire time, and that's the demo. But it was a unique experience. Collange La Rouge. This is my favorite little village. And uh, everything, all of the stone is in some shade of red because of the granite in the area. And it's it's almost like a quiet little town. I think a hundred people live there. And you can just walk right in the streets and um, anywhere, anywhere you look is a beautiful painting. And there's charming shops. There's plenty of time for shopping in this workshop. Um, I do enjoy giving a demo and you can watch the demo and um, some people just paint. Here's one of my demos from that day. So Collange La Rouge. Now a couple of these here, and I'm not sure, Gignac or whatever, that we, we found a flea market. It happened to be um, running that morning in Dome. We went uh, one of the years to a restaurant there and these friendly cows were there right across the street. I love that life is just right where you are in southern France. It's open, it's rustic, it's friendly, it's unpretentious. Bainac. So we are at the top of the Dordogne Valley. Um, that's the Dordogne River and the valley down below. And right over here is Bainac Castle. And it just looks like a Disney castle. It's absolutely beautiful. And that is the view from down below, down by the Dordogne River one year. We painted down there, and that was my demo from that year. And they bring a picnic lunch on that day, and it's just relaxing and peaceful. This uh, was a shot that one of the students got from way up above. That was my demo. Les Jardins du Do. Anyway, the flower gardens, <laughs> the water lilies. This was a park we went to, first time we went to it was this year, and we everybody had a ball. It was like painting in Monet's water lily garden. And it just set up, and look at that gorgeous bridge. It's very similar to Monet's. And let me tell you, the water lilies, this is a small sampling of the flowers all over the place. Stunning, gorgeous flowers. And again, we had a delightful picnic lunch. And this was my demo from that day. Now, in a single workshop, we don't go to all of these places, but this is a sampling of the ones that we have gone to over the last few years. Now, this is the Lavender Fields, and we will go to this every year, if I have any say so. And uh, it is absolutely breathtaking. And there's this hum in the air of the honeybees working on the flowers, the scent, I, I can't even begin to describe. It just, the air is just, full of a peaceful, everybody leaves there peaceful. This was my demo from that day. And they provide some things that you can buy that I have purchased and absolutely love their product. There's the finished demo. And Rock Madur. This is a fascinating medieval town built high on a hill, just right out of the rock on the side. We went to the very top last, this last summer and I painted this clock tower from way up high and it was a really incredible angle just looking down at the whole valley down below next year we'll be off that way way up over there looking at the whole village as it cascades down the hill and then um, so this is the village as it wraps around the streets my daughter contributed a few videos walking in some of the streets. It felt like we were in Gondor, in Lord of the Rings. Massive doors. I don't even know how old this place is, but there's many stairs going down, but you can take a, a lift, a chair lift going all the way back up. 
And that was my demo from that day. Sans Cirque La Pope. This was a town that we went to and it also kind of built up on a hill in the Dordogne Valley. All the roofs are just these gorgeous terracotta tiles and you can wander around in the streets. You can't even get lost. It's just there's shops everywhere, wonderful places to eat. We, I did a watercolor demo and then uh, an oil painting demo also on that day. Cahor. We usually go to Cahor about on the first day uh, because there is a store, an art store in the town, and that is Cahor itself. And we did after the workshop, we went above the town and looked down below. There's a very famous bridge called the Devil's Bridge. Uh, Monet actually painted this bridge and I saw it in his home. There's a marketplace and that is one of the reasons we go right away because it, look at this, he could spend all day there. Now, we did go one year to this cave, and we probably wouldn't go back but uh, because the, f the ground is so uneven and difficult to walk, but there were 30,000-year-old cave drawings in this cave. And we, of course, I couldn't get pictures of those, but we got to draw them on our paper just a little bit. Full of stalactites, stalagmites. And then back at Frasinet. This town is absolutely the most adorable, charming, peaceful town. Every evening and every morning, some of the students would go for walks around the whole village and just enjoy just the quietness of it. And there's people out just working, doing their daily life. We took a spot on the side of the road and painted this valley looking over and beyond. That is Le Vieux Cavan, looking into the kitchen area. Now, we're about to get to the best part. <laughs> There's gourmet food at every meal that we had. I'm telling you, it's actually gourmet. <laughs> and um, everything, they catered to everybody's varying dietary. There's gluten-free, there's vegetarian, vegan, whatever. Um, they have the cheese course, they have the desserts, they have the main course. Breakfast are warm, flaky, fresh croissants and local wines. That is from Cahor. Rich, delicious. There's a pear in a bottle that grew there and then they put the alcohol in it. Um, fresh vegetables. Everything is as local and perfectly organic as you can get it. These desserts are like a work of art. Every evening before dinner, we all collect and they bring together wine and refreshments just to sort of regroup and refresh before dinner. It's very nice. That is Le View, and this was my walk in the morning. And that is, we walk through that green door into Le View. And this is the group, last year. And uh, this is, you can see here on the map with France, we're way down in the south. Ten nights lodging, daily breakfast, gourmet dinners, transportation, taking care. Once you get to the airport, you are taken care of. And 24-hour um, studio you can use. These workshops fill up very quickly. So if this sounds like something that would work for you, send me your email and I will get some information out to you. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next year. Au revoir.